I'm Mario Matiga, and tonight I'm hitting the red carpet at the 2022 Golden Goggles Awards in New York City, where your favorite Olympians and world champions are being honored for a stellar performance in the pool in Budapest this summer. Team USA picked up a record-breaking total of 45 medals. And tonight, I'll be catching up with those athletes to see what they've been up to since then. How does it feel to be at the 2022 Golden Goggles tonight in New York City? I am so excited to be at the Golden Goggles. This is actually my first ever Golden Goggles. And we were at rehearsals earlier. I saw the space that the award show is going to go down in. Beautiful. I could not be more excited to have everyone in the same room just celebrating the sport that we love. You can't beat that. It was awesome. Um, I mean, it's, a, it's an incredible event to come to, a celebration of of another season in the books. Uh, I think it's it's something I never want to take for granted, making a world championships team and, and being able to come here and celebrate that is, is really cool. It's a lot of fun. It's fun to see all my teammates stressed up and I know we're gonna celebrate a lot of fun things um, tonight and raise some money for the USA Swimming Foundation. Everyone looks so nice. Who would you say is the best dress so far that you see? Best dress so far? Uh, Best dress always goes to Colin Jones. Okay. I think every year, I mean, he's just a, he's a fashion icon. He's got it dialed. Ooh, I really like Drew Kibler. Really? I, I think the shirt and just the hair, all of it came together really well. If you could give me one word to kind of sum up what this year has meant to you, what would it be and why? Uh, fulfilling. I feel like it's, there, it's definitely been a lot of hard work, and I, it's nice that this year, like, the hard work, I was kind of able to, like, see it pay off. Uh, I would say... At least for me, like it was a pretty hard world, just dealing with a lot of illness, you know, coming into the meet, and I uh, just kind of stuck with it and had a good attitude, and it turned out pretty well. I think just very thankful. I've had a really hard past few years, and being able to go to world championships and duel in the pool for Team USA this summer was something that I'll remember forever, especially after missing the Olympic team. Um, it just, it's been really special to me. I mean, this year was a grind. What would you say that you've learned about yourself this year? Um, I guess just that I've got a lot more in me and, um, you know, to not be afraid to continue to set bigger and bigger goals. Paris 2024 is coming right around the corner. What would having the opportunity to represent the U.S. at another Olympics mean to you? It would mean the world. Um, obviously, every goal is to, everyone's goal is to repeat and to do it in Paris. I would love to see it. Um, and hopefully do it with Murph again. I think that would be a great shot of redemption for the both of us. It'd be awesome. I mean, I, I think it's it's cool now. I, I've been around a, I've been around on a lot of teams, and so it's it's cool just kind of seeing that younger generation grow up. Um, I view myself now, obviously, like on the on the competitive side, like a lot of goals in the pool. But I'm I'm really leaning into the mentorship role that that I'm placed in. Um, I, I really love being a captain of the team and, and just trying to help that next generation be set up for success at, at the Olympics and, and all the big needs we go to. To be able to call myself a three-time Olympian would be, you know, absolutely unreal. So we are on the red carpet, blue carpet. People are getting awards tonight. In honor of that, I've got a little game called Who from Team USA is most likely to? Are you ready okay. for this? Yeah. Okay. Who from Team USA is most likely to become a meme? Become a meme? I go Bobby Fink. Really? Why? Because he did while we were out at the games. I think he just won the name um, the way he races. Um, he was basically, we would call him like he would think people in the end, the last 50. And then, I don't know, I think he's one of those guys who's just like under the radar, like hilarious when you get to know him. And it just kind of happens. Michael Andrew. Really? Yes. Why? Oh, he just sets himself up sometimes. So I think he'd be, he'd be a good one. Michael Andrew. Kieran Smith. Kieran? Um, Reagan. Oh yeah, definitely, Reagan. Re definitely Reagan. Hunter Armstrong. Really? Why? He does magic. I mean, I feel like it's when you're doing magic, you, you put yourself in some interesting situations. Who from Team USA is most likely to survive a zombie apocalypse? I'm looking at Lily right now, and to be honest, that's a top candidate. If really? you know Lily, you know how competitive and tough she is. Justin Ress plays video games and I feel like he just like learns about all those things. Probably uh, Lily King. Phoebe Bacon. Okay. Uh, I feel like she'd just be able to do some crazy stuff like <laughs> in apocalypse mode. Me. Because <laughs> I'm resilient. <laughs> of course I would try to survive. I want to say Drew Kibler just because he's from Texas. Okay. What about Texas makes him able to survive more than anyone else? I just, I just picture like gunslinger cowboy. <laughs> Who from Team 
USA is most likely to end up on a reality TV show? And which one? <laughs> that one's tough. Michael Andrew. Uh, I would say I'd throw him on The Bachelor, The Bachelorette. Um, I think he's single at the moment. Me. Really? <laughs> which one? Well, I want it to be Kardashians, but I don't know if that's what's going to happen. I could definitely see one of the UVA girls on The Bachelor. Okay. Like, I think, like, Kate Douglas or Alex Walls could be on The Bachelor. I don't know their relationship status, so, like, I shouldn't just throw out names like that, but I feel like they would thrive. Who from Team USA is most likely to forget to text back? Forget to text back. Caleb. Caleb Dressel. Never on his phone. Ryan Held, again. <laughs> um, and I know that from personal experience.